We're going to go now. I didn't want to wait. You don't want to make a four-star general wait very long. Uh, this is an extraordinary man, someone who many of us wanted, in fact, to be president at one point not that long ago. General Wesley Clark, welcome to Clout here on Air America. Thank you very much, Richard. So in, in a couple of minutes, tell us why you believe that the Air America listeners should be voting for Hillary Clinton. She's got the experience and the energy and the attention to detail and the passion to make a difference in the lives of Americans. As Ted and Mary just told you, which I second, she just, she's just absolutely clear on what needs to get done and what she's going to do. And she's got a track record. She's been doing this for 35 years. She's a high achiever who makes a difference in people's lives. That's how she measures herself. That's what, it's not about what she attains, it's what she gives. And that's why I respect her and think so much of her. She's real smart, not just on the education and health issues, but she's very smart on foreign policy. She sees the big picture. She understands the details. She asks all the right questions. She won't let anyone run over. She'll be a great commander-in-chief. I've seen her interact with soldiers and generals, and they have a tremendous respect for her because she's very smart. She's very businesslike. She knows the issues. She knows what needs to get done. Um. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit because you're a very kind of experienced, savvy guy, and I'm sure you've been paying attention to the other candidate who's running as well. What do you see as the as the most important difference, at least to you, between a President Barack Obama and a President Hillary Clinton? Well, I'll tell you one huge difference. When Hillary becomes president, she will inspire women all over the world to change their families, their communities, and their countries. As I've traveled abroad over the last six or eight weeks, and people know that I'm supporting her and endorsing her, I find these women in business conferences and other things come up to me and saying, oh, please put me in touch with the Clinton campaign. I've got this great idea. I'm starting a charity. I'm, I want to bring peace on Cyprus. And I mean, these are real women who feel inspired and empowered by her. I think it's the most amazing phenomenon. And Hillary can do that in a unique way beyond all the problem solving. But there's one other thing. Being president requires an extraordinary amount of work. It's just from the time you get up in the morning until the time you go to bed at night. This is not a job where you, if you're going to succeed for the nation at least, you don't sit around and have a beer. This is not about likability. It's about working. It's a job that's maybe 2% inspiration and 98% perspiration. And there's nobody who works any harder, takes the jobs more seriously, is more oriented to get the job done than than Hillary Clinton. And uh, I just think she's just uh, out of this world. I mean, we will never have a more dedicated or capable public servant at the helm of the United States of America. General Wesley Clark, we need to take a break, but I have to ask you one question, put you on the spot. Who's smarter, Bill or Hillary? They're smart in different ways. Um, He has, in my experience now, and Mary and Ted know them differently and know them in a a much more intimate way than I do, but he's very intuitive. She's very analytical. And, um, And when I used to come back to Arkansas when I was a, officer in the army, my, my stepfather, who was a big conservative Republican down here, he'd always say, he says, well, you know, he says, I don't know about that Bill Clinton, but his wife is really something. <laughs> she's really smart. And, well, she, and, that, and that's the truth. Well, she's doing pretty well for herself, uh, a distinguished career as senator, and she could be the next president of the United States. General Wesley Clark, many people are, are disappointed that you are not the president, certainly over the past seven years, uh, continued you know, good wishes for your career, and thanks well, so much thank for you. joining us here on, on Air thank America. You. It's been great to be with you, and it, I want to tell you, it's just an honor for me to be able to recommend Hillary Clinton, and I sure hope that people listening 
will go out and vote for because I just think she'll be a great president. Well, you do so well, and thanks so much for joining us again. General Wesley Clark, this is Richard Green. We're going to be back with much more about Hillary Clinton and a whole new hour with Barack Obama supporters. Stay tuned.